Hi, how's it going? So, um, over the next few videos in this series, I'm going to be just developing a few little cool little prototypes which will come in handy if we want to kind of make a game project. To start with, Wolfenstein 3D. They say it's the hello world of graphics programming. We should be able to make Wolfenstein 3D, but we're advanced, so let's make it good. Um, here's kind of a prototype that I'm developing. I'll run this right now. It's just vanilla pie game. Um, we've got an array, and this array represents walls. And the number here, we'll say, represents a texture index. So let's say we have like eight textures loaded up in memory, and we're saying, um, you know, put texture number three over here. Now, what we want to do is we want to minimize draw calls. So we want to kind of pre-process this geometry and stack it together into one single um, model, generate that dynamically on the fly. But the problem, one of the problems with this is, for instance, when I load in this piece over here, if I do nothing to it, then I'm loading in a north, east, south and west wall, whereas only the west wall is visible. So what I want to do is I want to develop a function which takes an array and it kind of checks the neighbors and indicates um, which walls are visible. Okay, so in my system I'm going to um, write a number to each of these positions which indicates the types of walls which are visible. I'm going to use a bit mask. So for no visibility at all, we'll use zero. For a north wall visible, we'll use one. For west, at east, <laughs> we'll use two. South will be four, and west will be eight. Um, I'm doing this so that these bits are all independent of each other, so I can use bitwise and to test for things independently. Okay, so the first step is well, don't worry about this drawing code, right? So there's this drawing code, but it's just vanilla, vanilla pie game. I've documented it. The, the source is in the GitHub repo and everything. You can jump in there and have a look at it. Nothing too crazy there. Um, to start with, I'm going to just lay down the geometry that I can see. So I'll say... Okay, so I probably should talk about this function, right? Here it is. Um, as we can see, the number of rows is just the number of elements in this outer list. And then the number of columns would be the number of elements in any of the inner lists. Okay. Um, then I use a list comprehension just to generate a set of all zeros of the same, you know, array of the same dimensions with all zeros. Okay. Now what I'm doing is I'm looking through each of the elements and if there's a piece at this spot, then for now we'll just put in a blank uh, wall block with all pieces because one plus two plus four plus eight adds to 15. So this is like no blocking at all. So we run this right now and yep, the geometry matches and we have not removed any walls. Okay. So now let's take it one step at a time. The first thing we're going to do is remove the north walls. So we want to remove a north wall if there's um, a block on top of us or if obviously we're at the top of the screen. There's no way to, to draw a north wall there. So we'll remove that. So as I said, we're using one to represent a north wall. So to remove a north wall, we'll just remove one from um, that entry. Um, what have I done here? Hmm. Ah, of course, of course. And we also only want to do that when there's actually, whoops. We only want to do that when there's actually a piece <laughs> that we're looking at, right? It's, it's crazy talk. Okay, so we'll do it. There we go. Crazy. All right. Good. So now 
these top pieces are not going to have north walls, of course, and also any piece which is blocked on the north will not have a north wall. Okay. So we'll keep going. Now we'll do the east. Now the east is on the rightmost boundary. So remember we're using rows for the Y, uh, columns for the horizontal, and we want to check if we are on the rightmost boundary. So that would be columns minus one because we're zero indexing the columns. And then the piece that we're checking is the piece to the right. And then if we have a wall there, the east wall is worth two, so we'll subtract on that. Awesome. So now all the pieces which are on the right, we have what? Okay, so this is blocked on the north as well. So it's minus one and minus two, that's fine. Um, but also if we look over here, this piece is blocked on the right. So 15 minus two is 13. Awesome, it's working. Um, now I'm just gonna speed things up a little bit. South is at the bottom or um, if the piece below us. Okay, and south is worth four points. And west is the leftmost column or the thing to the left of us. And that's worth eight points. Okay, so we run this right now. And yeah, it works. But look at this, some pieces have been removed. Now at first this might be scary. Hey, I don't want the optimizer changing my geometry too much. Um, but if we have a look at the pieces which were removed, those pieces were actually blocked on all sides. So there's no way that our rendering engine would see them anyway, right? This wall extends from the ground to the ceiling. There's no way those blocks would have been visible. So that's really cool because it's automatically um, optimizing things. Cool. So that'll be it for today. Like I said, it's super, super quickie, um, but really important. What we're going to be doing over the next few videos is, like I said, developing a number of prototypes, which will be modular and we can kind of slot them together to make more advanced games. Okay, cool. So hope you had fun and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.